Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to our podcast number five. Man, we're getting up there. So uh, I'm Brian from the Dead Man Dead Man Dreams channel, and here is Marco. I'm Marco with- <laughs> from the Musings by Marco channel, and this is Half Dead Musings podcast <laughs> number five. We got a lot of cool uh, Tesla stuff today, as well as very cool. Yeah, with, especially with that uh, new factory opening that was incredible in uh, Texas. And yeah, jump into some of the details. You know more than me. Oh my God, it was so cool. So um, yeah, um, it opened up um, pretty recently uh, last uh, Thursday, uh, I believe. <coughs> yeah, it was last Thursday, and uh, I shared that link with you. Yeah, um, watch you. Uh, you were watching some of it, right? So a lot of uh, it. When I was watching it, that was one of the visually most impressive parts because. Uh, you had a, uh, they put on like a drone light show. And uh, you know, this is one of the things, it's, imp- it's, it's really impressive. Like uh, it made, it gave me that feeling like, oh man, is this something like only Tesla could do? Is like, <laughs> is it so fucking good? Is like, they did something or, at the I don't Olympics. know if it's like a professional service. Okay, yeah. I didn't watch the Olympics. Yeah, so. they had something like that man. at the Olympics and there was this some other ones. This is such a cool thing. Well, props for them for picking it out at least. Cause like, uh, I don't know what did it do in the Olympics. I'll tell you what it did here. Oh yeah, I saw that. Uh, I love the Dogecoin and the Tesla Cybertruck uh, formation. I forget at the Olympics yeah. one what they did, but there's also been one that uh, somebody just put a QR code in the sky where you could use your phone to scan the drones, like as they were in a QR code formation, and it actually worked. I forget what, what it was. Yeah, so they're starting yeah. to get advanced. I mean, it was showing like a, it was like a, a truck. It was like it would like form the truck and it was like the road and it was like the road was rolling into the <laughs> wheels and it would like become awesome. the wheel and then would cycle through the wheel into the rest of the truck almost like it's a, an assembly line mm-hmm. you know like uh carrying on to the whole factory theme and all that didn't they do um, elon's face at one point wasn't that elon's face i couldn't tell what it was that was a little bit hard to figure but it would look like a face that was meant to be elon's face and they did yeah the- yeah I think it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the Doge coin face, that was awesome because I still got Doge after getting screwed by uh, getting it at the worst time ever. Uh, man, so, just hold on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I saw it pump. As soon as the uh, I saw the, the picture of the Doge, I checked my um, broker <laughs> and I checked the price of Doge coin and I checked the one minute candle. And sure enough, as soon as that thing appeared, it was a gigantic like one minute candle shot up. <laughs> Nice. And I was like, it's not like, wasn't a huge amount. It's like 14 and a half cents to like 15 cents. Why is he so big on that still? Is it just because he has his children has like have investments in Dogecoin and he wants to pump it for that sake? Or I don't even understand. All that we know is that uh, he uh, sees uh, he wants a practical use for crypto. And uh, to be practical, it has to be cheap for transactions. Mm -hmm. And Dogecoin is actually cheap for transactions. Mm. Um, so he thinks that there's some promise in the way that the technology is set up. Cool. And on the other hand, he um, he likes to troll a little bit, you know. So <laughs> it's that trolly side of him at the same time. You know, he <laughs> says shit like, wouldn't it just be funny if, like, the most uh, ironic or funny thing that you wouldn't think should happen does happen? You know, <laughs> it's like uh, the most ridiculous coin out of the mall becomes the coin that... <laughs> It yeah. was the mall. Did you see what his you know? Twitter uh, th- post was today? He said, should we drop the W from Twitter so it would be titter? And then yeah. his only two choices yeah. were yes or uh, and of course. Or, and there was no, yeah, no option for no. <laughs> I chose of course. <laughs> yeah, I chose like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great. And there was another one, too. Oh, he was showing lately, the, the media was bias like, one he put, up, he put up was great, where it showed the it was a big survey result thing that happened. Uh, there was polling, I guess, to the, for a large portion of the country, and depending if you're a Democrat or a Republican, it showed what your uh, opinion was for Fox News or CNN and like 10 other organizations, and it just showed, yeah, I mean, it's like there's two different realities, and he said the first casualty was truth in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's uh, basically, it showed like uh, everything was switched. If you're Republican or if you're Democrat, you have the opposite score for everything, and it's like far apart. So it was like out of a hundred, like Democrat on a certain thing would be like seventy, and then uh, Republican would be like twenty, and then like you take that for like a CNN or whatever, like CNN, 
it would be one side for Democrat, the other side for yep. uh, uh, Republican, and then Fox News is the exact opposite. Yeah. The ones Republicans basically hate everything <laughs> except uh, they hate they um, except Fox News mm -hmm. and uh, the Weather <laughs> Channel. Although they trust the Weather Channel way less than <laughs> yeah. Democrats. There was but, one. Uh, that's their their top three are are Fox News, the Weather Channel, and then the Wall Street Journal. Maybe that still sounds fancy enough for them. They're like, oh, <laughs> the Wall Street Journal. Those are smart folks. One fascinating thing I noticed though was uh, CNN. The the Democrats had more faith in CNN than Republicans had in Fox News. I noticed that was an interesting thing. If you look closely at that chart, where uh, like there's a, a high percentage of uh, pro-Trump Republicans, and even Trump himself was like bashing Fox News during the presidency, and he was liking Newsmax and uh, OAN, the uh, One America News, where they can go more on the conspiratorial side of things, and they're more pro-Trump. And <laughs> yeah, this is like 1984, like George Orwell type shit. Like, just you know, pick the news that likes you. <laughs> and make that the popular thing, and you will be beloved by all. You can do whatever you want. You know, Tim Pool is my favorite journalist. He's independent, basically. And he says that when he worked for a news organization, they basically told him, side with the viewer. Don't report anything that the viewer wouldn't like. You know who your audience is, so cater to your audience. And he was just like, wait, so if there's something that our audience wouldn't like hearing, you don't tell them? And then he was basically like, yeah, <laughs> that's it. And so you're like, all yeah. these bubbles exist horribly, and it's hard to find truth these days. Yeah, that's the state of it. Ever since, um, the, like, they really should be, I mean, see, that's the problem, that, yeah, Republicans don't trust, I got brainwashed into not wanting to trust government programs that they pay for to be in their best interests. <laughs> Yet the the only way to get away from the capital capitalistic um, greedy um, incentive of how the news is set up now is to have it be uh, funded by taxpayer money because the yeah. way it's set up now they're just like with the, they're gonna tell you whatever they think you want to hear because they want the maximum amount of attention to make more money and they don't really care if how true it is or not if it really. Uh, like NPR is still mostly government. Mostly seems untrue. But NPR, um, it doesn't make enough money to actually run. It actually is most, it's, um, they always have to take money from viewers. Well, yeah, so, Trump was threatening to cut off the government funding uh, from NPR because they were just bashing him. And like, uh, so he said, why are we paying money to have this like one-sided viewpoint on behalf of the yeah, government? What a piece of shit, man! Like, yeah, <laughs> one-sided viewpoint, yeah, because yeah, it's against him. Yeah, it's still one side. <laughs> Whether it's good or bad, it's still one-sided. So that's a straw man argument because uh, just because uh, it doesn't agree with someone, it doesn't mean that it's not presenting both sides of an argument. It's it's the ridiculous that. Uh, just to talk about a subject that you have to be for and against the person at the same time, hmm. you can't. Well, you can't talk like it's not even. I never it's not, read ridiculous. it really or listened to it. I mean, how, how could you even do an article like that where half of it is pro someone, half of it is against the person? <laughs> well, I mean, you not just one article, but call. when you have only attack piece after attack piece versus never anything positive to say, it's like a pattern emerges, and I think that's what hey, when you got a piece of shit person and you keep talking about how big of a piece of shit he is, and that's the truth, then yeah, that's also called a pattern emerging. You can't really help it. You're well, trying to report on what the situation is. And the situation is the guy's a piece of shit. You end up keep saying he's a piece of shit all the time. That's, that's what you're and one side of say, All you say is he's a piece of shit. Why don't you say how great he is? Oh, well, I'm sorry. If he would do some great fucking things, then maybe we could say he's great. Well, yeah. But, but until he does some great fucking lot. things, we have to say he's a piece of shit. Well, that's the that's the side. You can see which side you're on. Is what I'm saying. That's a one-sided thing too. And that's your opinion. Half the no, country is really happy. No, that's the wrong happy. way of looking at it. Well, half things, the country is already a, talking about sides. It's not about picking sides. It's about critical thinking. Critical I, thinking. <laughs> it's not about picking a side. Right, it's about figuring out what's really going on. Well, exactly. And if you have to just trust one side or the other to get that. Then we're fucked. <laughs> All right, but I'm saying like half the country says they're using their critical thinking, and they they come to a different conclusion, and that's where we're at. We got these bubbles and different uh, facts and and different ways of thinking about. It. And, 
They only say that they're using their critical thinking because they don't want to seem wrong. They don't want to be wrong. They're not actually using critical thinking. <laughs> I'm they're sure they say the points. same thing about the other side. So it's like, it's just all chaos. I try not to get sure, too political. Sure, but one's but... wrong and one's right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's funny. That's pretty interesting. All right. And I'm not saying that as someone who agrees with Democrats. That's yeah. not who I am. Yeah. See, they can't pigeonhole me into being someone who supports Democrats because I don't. <laughs> it's just I don't support Trump because it's obvious. It's yeah, not about you. being a Republican or not. It's just about recognizing corruption and uh, taking advantage of uh, yeah. of our institutions to may enrich himself. That's yeah. a piece of shit. So yes. say the same thing about Biden me. right now too. It's obvious. I mean, all this Ukraine stuff, bringing his son on a private government paid for jet to do business dealings overseas using his father's influence. Yeah. They do. Shady. But here's the thing. Here's the thing that it's always in politics is the lesser of two evils. I'm not saying that Biden's not shitty, but is he less shitty than Trump? Way, way less shitty than Trump. <laughs> yeah. But it's not, the, but it's not of... the reality I want. I don't want it where, oh, well, it's acceptable to have a certain level of corruption because that's just the fucking game. Yep. So everyone has I to, agree. you know, dip their beak and wet their beaks. And it's, uh, you know, we can't get away from this shit because money runs everything. Two parties. But hell yeah, if the someone does way more. Yeah, but that's critical thinking because a lot of uh, Republicans in particular, mm -hmm. but a lot of people don't understand nuance yeah. and grade and they can't measure things against each other. True. So we'll just point out one cherry, one little cherry fucking pick <laughs> thing and say, well, he's just as bad as the other guy. And so I'm right because that's my team. And I just really want to look for shit that makes <laughs> you know all my side look right. And it's sorry, but you're way out of fucking balance here. You know, get you gotta, your fucking head checked. Yeah, like... I think the two-party system is just horrible, and like we said that one time before with that stand-up comic said, we got to have like these people dressing like NASCARs. Who's paying the politicians to get influence in what ways? That that would be nice if everybody had that publicly oh, available. For there it. are so many ranked choice voting. Term limits. Rand Paul uh, was for term limits, but nobody wants to screw over their own futures, so nobody votes for it. So yeah, I mean, but it's not even. They yeah. don't want them to uh, to vote for that shit. You know, you can even do a bill where, uh, hey, this doesn't kick in till after you retire, <laughs> so you're still set. Just do that. Oh no, because the fucking people give you money. They want to buy the next fucking people, even after you fucking cr die after another fucking twenty. Hey. You're so 100 today. fucking years old, you piece of shit. <laughs> no, they uh, still want all the next fucking people. So they you, continue you know what that reminds me of? Uh, country. The JFK thing. Like They were like, okay, yeah, we'll tell the public uh, uh, Like uh, 30 years from now or 40 years from now, we'll tell the public. Then it rolls around during the Trump administration. He's about to release the JFK stuff. And then, the, oh, there was an interesting story that happened. Uh, Judge Napolitano, the guy who like hit on some other guy in the elevator at Fox News yeah. and got fired. He was like a libertarian judge guy. He actually was friends with Trump before they had a falling out. And uh, Trump told him, if you saw what was in those JFK files, you wouldn't have released them either. And like it was probably stuff that was going to impact the economy, uh, CIA-related stuff, a lot of people suspect. And, uh, yeah, it's... It goes down the rabbit hole pretty far, and it was going to hurt the country to release it. And the CIA talked them out of uh, releasing the majority of the most damaging things last minute. So who knows if they're ever going to release the JFK files? It's well, if that's true. It's bullshit because we should have accountability and yeah. classification. And you know, it's like uh, it's like you can't tell the religious people that God doesn't exist because they'll all fucking lose their minds. You know? It's yeah. Like, Sorry, that's the state. You know, maybe our government did fucking pay for someone to kill someone. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows what the fuck it's You know, about. speaking of the religious thing, you just reminded me of, uh, for the longest time, they were saying, like, even having life on another planet would disprove God for some reason. And then the Catholic Church, uh, I forget if it was the Pope or a high-ranking uh, official. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, but, fucking but religious they, person they can make a loophole, don't worry. Well, listen, they reversed it, yeah, and they were saying, if uh, life is found outside uh, our planet in the universe... That would not negate 
the teachings of the Catholic Church. That's what they came out and said, like probably about seven years ago. And so they've been like accepting it now. So what, what's the big deal? Oh yeah, that knowledge? still fucking fits for sure, right? Yeah, it's like 6,000 years ago, you know, God <laughs> created us in six fucking days or seven days or whatever the fuck it what, was. What, and the like, whole universe created. What are they called? The fundamentals? And he's created, he created that uh, that shit and the, the <laughs> life form on the other planet for us to find eventually as like a fun little thing for us. Like, yay! <laughs> we're doing good, God! See? Yeah, <laughs> see? Enjoy. This is your reward for, you know, advancing technology. Well, actually, I should be killing you all because you're becoming less, less religious, but, you know, <laughs> I'll let you have this one, I guess. But you're all going to fucking hell. Don't forget that. <laughs> You uh, sinful pieces of shit. <laughs> By the way, give more money to the fucking church and listen to what the fuck they say. <laughs> and don't leave your kids near the priests. Because <laughs> they get it on with them for some reason. And it's a widespread thing. And it's no, if your kid, as, as uh, says that the priest touched them, it's obviously they're fucking possessed by a demon. And they're fucking evil, so, you know, you should beat that child. The next child who says that a priest fucked him, just know that that, that child is the devil. That child is possessed and needs to be punished. You remember Milo he's Yiannopoulos? He's a fucking liar, and he's trying to destroy the great, great religious institutions that we have. God is absolute. The priest is an instrument of God. Yep. He worships God. He's holy. He's beyond <laughs> reproach, okay? So that fucking kid is lying. Beat the fuck out of that kid <laughs> and give him back to that priest. Uh, I said, you fucking say anything, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I was gonna say Milo Yiannopoulos. You remember him? He was that. Uh, he's a gay guy who was a conservative, and he would go all touring co uh, college campuses. Oh yeah, he was the guy yeah. who fucking said. Uh, he was oh, the predator. No, not he said, gay. Yeah. After, oh, uh, he said the, he was on Joe Rogan, and then he was talking about how uh, he was taken advantage of. I think it was by a priest, and then he was like. I was the predator. The priest wasn't the predator. He was like saying that he was like you know, fine with being molested as a child, and then basically his career imploded. He got canceled everywhere for good reason. That guy was just going off the rails. Like, there's a lot of these cancellations that are just ridiculous. I felt like he was just uh, he was shamelessly <clears throat> trying to make money by being as uh, offensive as possible. Yeah. So I, I and couldn't he did. take him seriously. And he, yeah, his book deal. He had a book coming out, yeah. and, and he made money got, off of it. I thought they can't. Uh, the pub, the main sad. publishers uh, canceled this book, and then maybe another one picked him up after the main people can, uh, canceled last minute because all of his crazy comments. It's but. fucked up what people do for money, man. Yep. It's like, it's so desperate. Everyone's so fucking desperate to get money that they'll fucking do all kinds of shitty shit. You know? <laughs> and it's just like, man, yep. whatever. You got to do what you fucking got to do because we're all going to fucking die and get that fucking money, right? Yeah, you know, I gonna mean, fucking die poor. it's a part of this, my channel. That's why I made that Seneca video. You know, money is not everything and it's not coming with you when you die. And in fact, karma has a higher chance of uh, existing than money. Like, Yeah, if only the people who fucking ran the world like believed that shit, then yeah. we'd be all right. Unfortunately, they don't give a fuck about any of that. That's just to make yeah. yourself feel better while you're getting fucked. Yeah. But, hey, I would maybe like you'll to... feel a little bit better, so I guess it's good. Like, you, you know, I, I donate to some uh, one charity, uh, you know, uh, St. Jude's. I like to do donate to, you know, even though I don't have, like, a crazy amount of money in this world, you know, like, once you realize, like, like I've been through so much garbage in my life and a lot of chronic pain and stuff. So once you realize what real suffering is and you realize, like, even where I'm at right now, it's nowhere near as bad as cancer uh, suffering children, you know, like that. It feels good to give. There's like a balance. It's like like what Marcus Aurelius said. You're not able to help somebody else without helping yourself because you're all, we're all a part of the same whole, and all the parts yeah, are connected. I, I guess some of it goes to them, but the problem is that those are all inefficient methods of, uh, you know, they'll get the kids will get some of the money, but a shitload of it will go to bureaucracy too. It depends on and which charity people, though. A lot of people end up just like, especially, you know, the more money you have, you don't want to seem uh, like a dick. Yeah. So you give some more money to charity, and it's like, see, I'm such a great person. Tax breaks. Money to charity. You tax breaks, then. Virtue, virtue signaling to, to uh, fucking charities. Oh, wait. Well, uh, yeah, you get a little what, bit of a tax break. What but, did Elon give? Uh, it was like billions of dollars to help end world hunger, wasn't it? He gave billions yeah. away. He said he was going to do it, and then the tax records came out. It was like a couple months ago it came out that he put his uh, money where his mouth was, and he, he donated big. You can Google it really? real quick. Yeah, well, I'll do it. I, uh, I don't know if you yeah, can. I uh, didn't know that uh, he put any money towards that. 
Uh, yeah. Last I I'll heard, it was room. like you know he was like he put out a challenge. He was like, hey, if someone could actually like make like convince me that this amount of money would cure world hunger, I'll do it. But he's like, but the world hunger isn't a money problem. But it's like it's if we bad. have enough food to feed everyone. All right, that's not the issue. The issue yeah. is that it's too localized yeah. in certain areas. Also, and a, lot a bunch of, of it gets wasted in certain areas, and it's a lot of it's wasted to maintain profit margins because they don't want to give shit away for free. Because people take the free shit, they won't buy the new shit, so they right gotta here. throw in the fucking garbage so that people still buy the new shit. I got it. It says Elon Musk donated around five point seven four billion dollars to charity in November, just weeks after tweeting that if the UN World Food Program showed him how six billion would solve world hunger he would sell tesla stock right now to do it and also i've heard a lot of the Can you problem share that on the discord actually i got it on my other computer i can't it's uh i mean i got two separate computers going right here uh, uh, this is from fortune magazine and it says okay. he might have actually followed through with his donation let me see what the details were as well Yeah, yeah, just type that in. I knew I heard something. Oh, yeah, here. It was, uh, you gave, oh, wow. Yeah, it says Musk sold 5 million, uh, 44,000 uh, Tesla shares. Four, yeah, 5 million, 44,000 Tesla shares worth, uh, which came to 5.74 billion. Okay, yeah, that's a good way to do it because um, if he donates shares, then. Um, yeah, it uh, says the recipient. They can keep it and then. They uh, one they can appreciate and two it doesn't get whacked with all the fucking taxes. Yeah, it says the recipient uh, was anonymous, so there, he did, didn't actually oh, okay. say which organization he gave to. So he doesn't but, even get credit for it, really. I mean, that he uh, donated. I like that. That's a cool move. Yeah, because classy move. Yeah, I mean, you got too many people who are like only give just so they can put themselves on camera and put themselves on social media giving and just to boost their own ego. If you're giving just to boost ego, like. It's not even giving in a way. It's just like self-serving crap. Yeah, or you're crap. just trying your ego or just like to look better because yep. uh, it's like, you know, why the fuck uh, do we need to have all these fucking charities and <laughs> we have all this fucking tax money? The tax money should go to the fucking thing. You're in a good fucking, fucking mood charities. today, I see. <laughs> yeah. F-bombs left and right. This is, a, this is yeah. an interesting twist on the podcast. I like it. This is what happens when I have to fucking try to set up some new technology <laughs> and it doesn't fucking work, so I'm pissed off. Yeah, we tried setting up I Zoom. I was having a good time before this. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeah. I'll fucking yeah, you we're switching later. to Zoom for better audio levels That's soon, ideally. That's a good outlet ideally. because I am pissed off about all this shit anyways. And someone needs to be fucking pissed off about it and talk about <laughs> it. Because everyone is really pissed off about it, but they don't talk about it enough. What, what other... Yeah, it's true. It's shit. nice to vent here and there. But I was going to say, what other uh, Tesla-related stuff was uh, did we want to talk about it from the uh, factory? Oh, by the way, my I'll theme song... Some stuff, I'll, I'll, let me say this real quick, though. In the Tesla uh, intro, in the Tesla intro uh, video in the beginning of the uh, conference thing, they had this like big like hype video. They chose the same song that I put in the, my first video as my uh, intro song. Tesla chose the same exact one, and it's like halfway through the video, it kicks in, and I was like, "Wow, they're playing my theme song now." I don't know where. Great minds think alike. Yeah, and also he, uh, I was noticing he was rolling with that purple vibe. Like I, I, would, I love the purple vibe. That's why I'm always putting. Was it uh, <laughs> was it royalty free music? Yeah. It, it came with yeah, the e sense. editing. Yeah, I think all There's of that. There's a limited amount of low royalty free music, right? And they don't yeah. spend anything on advertising, so it's like. Uh, yeah. You know, there was a like bunch it. of different songs, though. Put the money into the fucking car, you know? Yeah. So that's why I chose. And it. also, don't make money on the fucking service centers. There's another fucking piece of shit. Where other car yes, companies, they don't even care if they make money on selling the car mm. because they'll make money on all your repairs because the car is a piece of shit that's designed to break <laughs> down and require a bunch of fucking parts that they make money on those. And you need it because you're already stunk all the money into the fucking car. So, of course, you got to pay the fucking couple hundred extra on top that are high margin to get mm. the fucking thing to work that you already sink all this money into. Yeah. So now they got you by the fucking balls. Oh, wait. And that's so their shitty fucking business model that sucks. <laughs> 
fuck that. Wait, Tesla's model's way better. Yeah, Tesla's also got well, 15 minute uh, super fast charge stations that are coming out with now, I think they said in that video. It would be like, by the time you eat your food and come out, you get like, oh yeah, that was for one of the newer vehicles that came out, that are coming out, I think, where uh, you get like a couple hundred uh, miles worth of battery charge in only 15 minutes. Yeah, it's not that far from it now, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, they're V2 chargers. They're going to do V3 superchargers eventually. You know, this stuff has room to go. And the new batteries, that was one of the biggest um, changes. And I'm getting distracted with the Tesla shit. I'm going to try <laughs> to remember this other shit later. But uh, the, one of the big changes was the 4680 batteries. Uh, do you know about the 4680 no, batteries? No, I'm not big on the specific let me tell type. you, man. Oh, this is Battery Day. If you haven't checked out Battery Day and you're a <laughs> Tesla investor, you're at all in interested in Tesla, check out fucking Battery Day because right there is the fucking master plan <laughs> laid out of how they're going to conquer the whole fucking planet. What is Battery right Day? Is it a hour. website page or it's something? It's a day long. Uh, it's well, it's a presentation they did. They had a, a, a people uh, mm. come in. It might have been with the shareholder meeting, annual shareholder meeting at the same time. They did it like got it done in the beginning really quick. And then they presented all the new technology they're working on in relation to batteries because battery is the most fucking important part of an electric <laughs> fucking vehicle runs on batteries. <laughs> so you better be good at making fucking batteries if you're going to make electric vehicles. Volkswagen, Ford, Toyota, all you other dumb fucks. <laughs> and make sure you have fucking supply contracts to make the fucking batteries because everyone else thinks, oh, just pick up the fucking phone. Oh, I'm, I'm going to make EVs now. I need fucking things to make batteries. Oh, no, there's not enough. I can't get it. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Oh, well, guess I'm fucked. Bye. Click. I was gonna Meanwhile, say. Tesla is making 10-year supply contracts ahead of time. But let me finish yeah. about this 4680. For so this 4680 is basically, it's like a bigger battery than they were using before. They're all cylinder batteries, okay? And this is a bigger one. 4680 is the, um, 46 is the width in centimeters or millimeters of the battery and 80 is the depth or height mm. in millimeters so it's literally just the dimensions of the battery which is a cylinder mm, okay okay now that it's when you get to a bigger battery physics uh is kind to you because you're able to pack more energy into a small into the same amount of space also i, I heard there, it, there are efficiencies with it it helps to prevent tipping of the vehicle the very placement of the battery in your vehicles helps to prevent rollover crashes because it's like yes. weighted i will get to that yeah I'll get to that so uh it's bigger so more energy density but uh it creates more heat and it's bigger <laughs> so the parts that get hot is farther away from the liquid cooling to get to it so how do they solve this one of the ways they solve solve this is that they created a notching kind of cutting process where if you look at a battery it's basically like a sheet uh, and it's two um, um, it's like a sheet that's hmm. rolled up and there's a separator and then there's a material on one side and then there's a material on the other and um, hmm. they need at both ends the sheet is connected to either cap or end of the battery at either side of the sheet when it's rolled up and mm. what they used to do is they used to like solder on these tiny little wires okay but uh, the problem is that that didn't that if you make a battery bigger the the signal the the eye the energy has a longer path to travel in the bigger battery and it's too far for everything to travel to this mm. one little wire so they created this cut up thing in the sheets and they all kind of fold in on each other together and they are all the little wires so it creates many more connections inside of the cool. battery which uh means that um because basically heat is inefficient <coughs> heat happens when there's resistance and electricity moving through something that's why if you have a high like a hair dryer and you grab the wire the wire yeah. will be hot because a hair dryer pulls a lot of power through there hmm. uh, and if if it wasn't hot, it would actually be uh, more efficient. That means that part of the energy is being wasted and it's being let off as heat. So you don't want heat. Heat is bad. Yeah. It wastes energy and it causes other problems. So this whole thing 
makes many more connections, so there's less heat, so less energy is wasted, and they're able to get this improved Worse. energy density. So it's like a twofold thing, and that's just one little thing oh, by the about way. this the, about yeah. this whole system. The oh. other part is that it's a structural battery pack, and that goes to the, your safety thing with the rollover thing. Did you see that part though? Uh, it, uh, the Cybertruck uh, was racing like a Porsche or whatever, and it actually beats it in the drag race. They showed that yeah, in the presentation. Dude. Was it like three? Yeah. Well, there was probably the three engine uh, Tesla uh, roads, uh, Cybertruck. They might have a four one. They might have a oh. four motor. Now. But yeah, like it was crazy to when you see this footage in a drag oh, strip. Yeah. It's because electric uh, vehicles fucking rock. An dude. SUV. They're way fucking beating, more powerful. <laughs> beating They're way like fucking more the, powerful than oh, your, your shitty important fucking. Thing. Oil. <laughs> <laughs> An important part of what Fucking Elon said. Burning right shit now, they like have the uh, Tesla cars uh, are only less than one percent of all the cars on the planet. They're doing everything on such a massive scale. They're trying to make it so in the near future, Tesla would be at least 20% of all vehicles on the planet. And that's what he said yeah. in the uh, presentation near the end. Yeah. So it's super they, ambitious. They do that, Same with yeah. the robots. They they're easily making. do it. They can easily do it because yeah. they're, 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 they're so, their uh, products are already so much better. They're getting better. They're oh, did you see so much better. Uh, Lex Friedman was there and he said he, he went to the original opening one in Nevada uh, for that plant. And he said yeah. there's some, and he was at the uh, Texas one too. And he says the the enthusiasm for Tesla that. employees, there's just I, it's through the roof. These people were partying all night at, at four in the morning, and they're still enthusiastic and just they they absolutely believe in what they're doing more so than any other company. And think about how much more Tesla and Elon are going to transform this world than uh, how much Microsoft transformed it with this whole computer age. It was a big change, but I mean we're talking about robots taking over jobs. We're talking about going to Mars. The, the changes that are going to happen by the time we're geezers is going to be way bigger than the changes I'm that we've already you, lived man, through. you, man, you got to read that Culture Series books because yeah. that's what our fucking world is going to look like. We're going to become the yeah. fucking society. The It's going to be the future is going to finally fucking arrive where all the crazy shit yeah. that you can imagine is going to come true. The change is accelerating. You need a fucking genius fucking leader <laughs> who allows... Because we got smart people all over the place. There's lots of smart engineers, but you know yeah. what happens to them at other fucking companies? They say, oh, I can make this better. They go, you're fired. Sorry, <laughs> no. Because yeah. bleh, I want to save two dollars yeah, ego or, or i'm not letting yet. i'm not letting this or, lower ranking guy out i'll think me <laughs> all kinds of stupid fucking reasons you know bureaucracy or it's mm -hmm. just you got stupid people are in management and True. all the smart people are you know uh, working down below and then you got to insert some dumb fucks in the <coughs> middle management and then they got to dumb down the whole fucking company and they fuck up everything yeah, then it's always just a bunch of yes men, like because everybody's scared to disappoint the boss. But then that's what's great about Tesla and stuff. Yeah. Like anybody with yeah, a good that's idea. That's what's running our fucking country is those fucking yeah. idiots and those kind of companies with a lot of money, and they go and give money to our fucking politicians. But Tesla's the and opposite. They're, they just yeah, Tesla's the opposite. So it's refreshing. Yeah, it's We're, well, let's say that let's we'll say what that means again. You, you said that in our first podcast, but uh, yeah, like anybody is willing able to like write Elon and have direct uh, communication with Elon for innovative ideas. Oh yeah. And, so oh, yeah. Th that's a, it's way different. Now than, a lot of employees are nervous about doing that because mm -hmm. like it's like when you send an email to Elon, he's probably going to read it. So yeah. all of a sudden, it's like the eye of Sauron, like, <laughs> focused on you. Yeah. So it's like, you know, don't uh, be a total fucking idiot. People get nervous being under the spotlight. But, yeah, uh, yeah that option is open, and I've uh, uh, <coughs> heard employees talk about that, where That's they did cool. that. And they're like, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, he did. Uh, he said something, and he said, uh, responded to it. And... Um, when were they going to do that launch? Uh, there was that Asian, uh, like, really rich guy who ran a store in Asia. I saw that. Uh, we talked about it before. You weren't that familiar with it. But he was promised uh, to be one of the first guys going they into just space. Sent up, they just sent up some more civilians where they paid for it. So maybe he was in there. Oh, Elon uh, did and SpaceX? Yeah, SpaceX just did. Oh, I didn't know one. that. I don't know the names of the people who are in there, but I know they sent four or five people. They were all civilians. Was that the first they, time, or they paid for it? Uh, I forget because the other ones beat beat SpaceX to the punch. The other ones there. didn't buy tickets, but they uh, they were civilians. That was the um, it was called the Inspiration mission, mm. where uh, that was the one where they orbited around the Earth like three times, and they had the toilet that malfunctioned. 
I heard Pete Davidson. Uh, oh, I didn't hear about that, but Pete Davidson yeah. was uh, going up in the space. Oh, shit in the back. SNL guy, really? Yeah. Everything what? worked perfect, but was that toilets, Blue, you know, Blue Origin did perfect. that, or which one was it? Who screwed up? No, that was a space oh, extraction was space capsule. Oh man, but everything like, else was way better. It was like I the Dave Matthews up, Band man. in Chicago dumping their uh, crap they all over the, the, the river. <laughs> Remember that what happened in Chicago with the Dave Matthews band? They had to, they were trying to empty their septic system, so they went over the river and there was like cruise a river cruise going on with like an open Wait, top. Into the river? Yeah, it was illegal. They were trying to dump the RV system with crap and oh, pee, okay. but there was a tour boat uh, going like an architectural tour boat <laughs> going underneath, and then they landed Enjoy all your fucking tour. Yeah, it, it landed pissing. Imagine you're just trying to like look and at the great trail. architecture and it just lands all over you. That's what happened to these people, and they sued and won, and it was oh uh, man. It's like if yeah, you were architecture. The well, yeah, if you go on an architecture tour, you're probably a nerd and you probably have money. So those people are probably going to sue. You. We we took it for granted being in Chicago, like our most of our lives, or uh, for me, like certainly most of my life. But like uh, a lot of One people of the say, cities in the world. But also yeah, the architecture cool. of Chicago, they say it's like some of the best in the world. And it's like we we see it so often. It's like normal for us, but it's like legit Gotham City, like Batman style, like. It's like a very unique, even in some of these like lawyer buildings and like uh, I went with my uncle many years ago, you go inside and they have like statues like in the hallways and it's like really cool looking like gargoyles and like all sorts of really unique uh, stuff. That is pretty cool. I like that gothic shit. I haven't watched yeah. that cartoon gargoyles when I was a kid. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Remember that shit? Yeah, <laughs> after school. <clears throat> That's yeah. some pretty good voice actors in that. Um but you know what? Uh, it is a cool city. I would actually should like look at more of it because you can't, you know, you don't always get the best views uh, from being, you know, driving down Lakeshore Drive or whatever. Yeah. Like, also, on LSD, <laughs> the song goes. But uh, have you this seen is, like uh, actually Shanghai is an impressive fucking city. No, I'm not I gotta familiar. hand it to those fucking Chinese <laughs> dude. They got us to look at some pictures because I saw some pictures cool. of Shanghai. Uh, is it real high tech now? Empty. Yeah, they're showing how empty it was because of this lockdown, and uh, literally there's nothing going on during this lockdown. The technology, but the though. architecture, and the buildings are crazy. The yeah. shape, the shapes cool. of the buildings alone, they got spheres, they <laughs> got weird uh, fucking twisty things. The they 3D got, screens uh, are super impressive, where they wrap around half of the skyscraper, and they have like dragons that look like they're about to jump off the jump out of the skyscraper, and like three dimensional. Uh, stuff like that and amazing artwork too like yeah, very innovative about fucking skyscrapers uh, <coughs> let me mm. bring this shit up fucking you're bring like up some, screen uh, share uh, some, some yeah do some Chicago stuff on your side and I'll grab some Shanghai shit I might, I've never done it before I'll just leave you to do it because I'm just going to mess something yeah, up I figured out all you do is you just go down and it says uh, share your screen that's yeah, right all right. You might as well just do both back to back. Come on. I don't want to be messing with this. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Failing. Right. So, but also, like, I used to rent out cars many years ago, and I would talk to people, and they say, you've never really seen downtown Chicago until you have a convertible and you cruise all over the place, and you're a passenger, and you're able to just look up the whole time, and it is really cool. All right. Oh yeah, it's like the Space Needle in Seattle. Yeah, you see that, yeah. You see that right? Yeah. Oh, here, let me. I'm gonna make yours big and uh, on my screen. Uh, let me figure a way. Oh, I see. I got it's, it. it. All right. When it's, it's in mine, the fucking. All right. Anyways. It's so, big hey, on the screen shit. now. Yeah. Look at this thing. It's. Uh, you got yeah. What you is got that? Needle, like, you got all these spheres. Wow. It almost looks like a. You know, almost like Middle Eastern vibes to it here a little bit, like Taj Mahal. <coughs> you got yeah. Uh, this looks. It's got like a ring around it. That like twisty a, skyscraper, the biggest one there. Saturn. It's got yeah. that twist in it. That is a cool, and they probably got some cool engineering things going on with it too. I wouldn't be surprised if it like funnels wind through. Get there a night shot and, like, too. Uses it for the fucking cooling. System. I bet you it's going to be real cool, with, like purple lights and like like Tokyo style is really it's a cool. cool temple. You'll see stuff like this in Japan too. Like yeah, temples like this. These are all awesome. The parks in Japan are fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. Not sad. Uh, Japan is. Uh, uh, they've been locked down for a while. People still can't uh, visit. Uh, they don't allow tourists still. 
Oh, by the way, I memorized the years of uh, the Japanese. They're so unique because they had a feudal isolationism where they wanted to be cut off from the world. It started in the year 1603 A.D. and it lasted until 1867. I believe those are the correct years because I've been meaning to uh, look into that and I've, I've been great. trying to memorize ways, it. It maybe helped them not get as fucked up from the outside world. Yeah, because, but then uh, it so preserves some cool things. So like once this they is realized you might see in Japan too, right? Nice. They they fell behind though big time in the world and they realized that they were like sitting ducks and like the other militaries with the great ships and everything were going to easily take them out. So they learned from the English who were the best uh, at that. Doesn't that remind you of something that we watched recently? Attack on Titan. Oh, really? It was in the same situation Attack on Titan. Think about it. They, uh, that, they found mean? out that there was an outside world. They were oh, on okay, island, yeah, yeah. I think Titans. you're talking about the architecture. Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and they got people in and they modernized them. Yeah. A lot of the anime is just retelling the story of Japan. And also, but they always have... a good job with it. They have, like, those desperate situations where there's, like... There's some oh, here. cool. Like, there's always this, like... A supernatural force that's threatening to kill up everybody, or kill everybody, and like. Yeah, they know how to amp it up. Yeah, that's like I it. mean, just imagine you're a tiny island and you have these like juggernaut countries that are way bigger with way more resources, and it looks like you're like in a, a hopeless <laughs> situation. Like how they feel all the time. Yeah, and so <laughs> they that's feel that they all do. the time, so they want to put it in the anime. Yeah, it's like even yeah, if it's subconscious, it it, they they it put does. all this desperation in there and the darkest of things, like you're backing into a corner all the time. Or even like Akira, you know, like at the end of Akira, you got this like weird blob stuff that's attacking everybody, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Uncontrolled growth. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, what is that thing called? That sphere, does it say? Shanghai adapted the Born in the West Art Deco. Art Deco stuff. Oh, yeah, that was a thing here for a while. I don't really follow architecture, but... Uh, I think the thunderstorm's rolling in. I got my window open. I might have to shut it real quick. Dude, I want to hear it. <laughs> hear enough uh, storms out here. I miss it. Let, let that thunder if I can... I'm right here by the lake. The waves are crashing in. I can hear it. I don't know if they're picking up on the mic, though. The waves no, are crashing. not at all. Not at all. I don't yeah. want to hear it. Yeah, I can hear it pretty well. <coughs> <coughs> All right, yeah. Check yeah, out that's some of crazy. Whoa! Oh, you know what we should do? Uh, pull up the uh, images. Like a train. It's like nice. an aerodynamic building. Cool. Pull up the uh, 3D uh, artwork uh, type stuff in China, like uh, 3D, three-dimensional digital screens of China. Type in or something. It's crazy. It's better in video form too, but we're talking, so might as well just leave it at images, and plus. If we put it on any videos, yeah, you want to bring it up, get your own fucking screen share. <laughs> what the heck is that? Figure out your own screen share. Pretty cool. This is the classic um, um, beating semen uh, building <laughs> in China. What the heck? This is a uh, signifies spluge erupting. From the <laughs> Are they actually? <laughs> is that for real? <laughs> yes, that is for real, Brian. Come on. Pernary <laughs> Tower, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, yeah, uh, architectural design. Hey, you ever see that big one in North Korea too? There's like that super cool looking one. It's very unique in uh, North Korea. You wouldn't expect it there, but yeah. Shanghai Tower is actually called that twisty one. Nice. Not uh, as inventive with the name as they are with the shape. Hmm. I guess they just wanted the. Uh, the prestige number one baby <laughs> yeah it's getting crazy they uh, I just saw in the news that China is making a bunch of nukes as fast as possible thinking that there's a chance that they're gonna have a direct conflict with the US and that's been all over the news the past day or two so yeah everything's escalating this world's crazy you know crazy. what's a good movie about um, doing everything uh, for money and having it fuck up your life Hmm. I watched it the other day. It's classic. It's another um, uh, <coughs> name who did uh, 2001, uh, Stanley Kubrick. Yeah, it's another Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick movie. And uh, he did this movie called Barry Lyndon. Oh, I never watched one? it. No, I got to, though. Oh, you got to watch that. Um, oh, wait. Is this the uh, one from the 60s or 50s or whatever? 
Oh, okay. Um, it's uh, no, nah, this is from the '70s, or uh, I think it's yeah, another '70s one, and uh, it's set in much earlier time. Um, is the setting of the movie is uh, like bad. Like I just want to fucking fight, and he's <laughs> like, I'm not gonna like you know restrain myself at all, and he ends up like killing a dude in a duel, and his cousin comes on to him. And he's like, he, his cousin's hot, so I don't blame him. <laughs> and so he's like, falls in love with his cousin, and then another like officer Gandhi. comes in. Gandhi did that and, early in life. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> interesting. Uh, and this officer likes her, so uh, they, she's gonna, so she dumps him and wants to get married to the officer because he makes a lot of money. So he's all pissed off and uh, hmm. it's like doesn't give a fuck and challenges the officer to a duel. It's just and, duels. Uh, he thinks that he killed him, but he didn't. Hmm. And um, yeah, he, uh, he just out. goes on this. He goes on this life where he's like he has to leave, and he's just wandering. And he's in the shitty war situations, hmm. and uh, he just kind of makes it through by a combination of being a badass and always carrying out like high-ranking people <laughs> to survive. <laughs> he always like cozies up kind of to the like. The highest level of like people. Nice. And at first, he was like, "Oh, All you right. know." I don't want to hear too I'm, much about people be watching it, but yeah. Well, but I, I was gonna ask you like, though. You know, I'm gonna do well in the military, but he's like, just to get the point out, is like after a while, he was like, "I need to get the fuck out of the military because I'm gonna die because everyone's <laughs> fucking dying." I was gonna ask so you he, though. He did all the shady shit and he did pursued for money. Mm. He made him big. He made a lot of money, and at the end, uh, he lost it all. Yeah. Uh, totally. <laughs> all right. I guess he I don't have to watch it thing, anymore. <laughs> and then he fucked it up. Uh, I was gonna say though about that uh, thing that uh, Elon revealed uh, on that's stage. Good. There's a, cause that's really there's so much to it. You should. Check I, was, it out. I was gonna say that taxi thing that he revealed. There's all those giant taxis. Like, did you see that? Uh, he didn't reveal. Uh, well, that he was the plan. That, he, they had the prototype drawn. Yeah. He said that uh, what he changed with the wording is like. It sounded at the, if we thought the cheaper car was going to be like a compact car that anyone could buy, mm. but now it sounds like it's going to be a car that doesn't have a wheel, that doesn't have gas, that isn't made to be driven by a person. Now it sounds like that next cheaper model car is going to be a dedicated robo taxi. Is the yeah? You use. It was so huge. So, it was so large. It had like a. It remind me of the inside of the uh, Millennium Falcon, where they're sitting at that circular uh, table, and they had like yeah. in the very back. It, talking it was, about the bus shaped one. Yeah, that real big one where. Uh, okay. Yeah, it showed. That's it, a, that wasn't during the night, but he didn't show it during the night. But earlier they showed a concept. Seen. Hmm. No, they no, they showed a concept a, a while ago about something that might go in the tunnels. Ah, some people okay. say maybe it would be like that, but I don't think it's going to be much like that. But yeah, it was probably cool. you could be, you know, facing each other because you don't have to drive. I yeah. think it might be made out of stainless steel because it's going to, you know, nice. it's just way more cost efficient. So, you know, our taxes will be bulletproof. That'll be sweet. Mm -hmm. I wonder how emergencies would be worried about it. How, how would uh, emergencies be handled in the underground tunnels? Like, I wonder how many uh, emergency shafts they're gonna have. Like, uh, that you know, maybe come in from the sides somehow, or in order in case something goes wrong, somebody has a heart attack. How do you get them out fast? You know, stuff like that. If you have enough money, uh, you will put in your credit card, and uh, if you have to pay an extra five thousand dollars, but it'll transform into like a drill drilling unit, <laughs> and it'll drill you your own tunnel like immediately up to the surface, melting like the rock, like <laughs> plasma, and like just spinning. <laughs> no, no, just regular drills, you know, no big deal. Oh yeah, uh, one important thing about the boring company and like drilling these holes, he It'll explained. Be fine. Yeah, the, the thing is, attack. everyone will be going through the tunnels fucking fast anyway, so it'll be just like the other <coughs> thing. It's like, what happens if you're in a heart attack on the fucking highway? Oh no, I, I was I about mean, to say about the. I guess you gotta get a helicopter. The danger of the, earthquakes is not existent faster. down there. Yeah, that's. True. It's uh yeah. it's a uh, similar to the waves on the ocean. The waves of the ocean are at the top. The earthquakes happen at the top. And like uh, the way, yeah. So down below, it's very rare that you would actually be in danger from any shifting of tectonic plates or. Phenomenon. Yeah. <laughs> Phenomenon. Remember, remember Newgrounds.com? We used to watch that video with like that cartoon of the guys like heads like rolling down <laughs> the hill <laughs> for that song. Back in the day, the '90s. 
If you know Newgrounds.com, you're cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Flash. Flash video. That <laughs> was uh, the shit back then. Did, uh, you know, little games. Does Tesla or Elon have any uh, ambitions into airplanes, like getting innovating uh, airplanes at all? I think he does, but he, Jesus, dude, dude's yeah. doing enough. He can't. Yeah. Fucking, how's he gonna do airplanes? Yeah. He's got to run Twitter now too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I I heard. Well, he's only like a fifteen percent shareholder or something like that, right? But he's the nine, majority. Nine point something. He's, he's the majority though. He's single. He's a single largest, but you yeah. know, it's uh, no one. Uh, is big enough on their own of the majority they still have to group together but yeah and the, below him there's like some banks and so it's like i don't think jp morgan and fucking bank of mm. america are gonna like team together with elon maybe yeah. you never know but do, do they have to have votes they kinda, do they vote they kind of hate him <laughs> yeah uh, i wonder how they well, actually do it like the policy wise if they have votes on key issues or is it only that new guy who's like pro censorship the new head of twitter the, the guy who took over Dorsey's spot. He, he, I don't know. I mean, if you're on the board, then you're in the room with the people yeah. who make all the decisions. So every big decision, you hear it and you get to talk about it. Hmm. So that's his chance to anything that comes up, he's going to say, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> if you do that, you're a fucking idiot. Or he brings up something and says, this is great. This will help us. Drop the W, guys, or I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. All right, dump all my shares and on the open market, and your stock <laughs> plunges even more. Because I, and I'll say, I realize that you're a, a shithole that can't be salvaged. <laughs> I, I like this move that, though, because uh, it, it, he was considering I like do strongly. Too, it's a, it's a better move that because, you know, there's all these new startups that try, but once everybody's established on a pro, uh, on a platform. Nobody wants to leave and have like a certain day where everybody leaves at the same time and everybody's kind of tied to like Facebook right now. Like a lot of people I know hate Facebook. Facebook is fucking the devil. I know? enjoy like, it. They're not trustworthy though. They're not trustworthy. Yeah, oh, they're bad. Your yeah. data is used in the worst ways possible. Yeah. They're spying on everything you do. It, not that, you know, if, yeah, without all that, it would be great. <coughs> There's but, these new uh, crypto platforms that'll pay you in cryptocurrency for using their platform. You'll earn money to use their platform. But the problem is there's not like one day where everybody's just gonna switch over and everybody, then you have to relearn the new uh, interface or you have to learn the new interface, I should say. Plus, it's a pain if everyone in the actually joined yeah. at one time, they yeah. wouldn't have enough crypto to pay you with. They would go bankrupt. Mm. They're like, they could do that for a certain amount of people, but then it yeah. doesn't make sense, you know, because they can't afford to pay, you know, millions of people yeah well, they can pay some people to pump up the numbers and get some more investors and shit hmm. that's a lot of crypto yeah, stuff, there's a know? yeah there's a bunch of those though uh like where they pay you to do the social media interactions on their sites i wonder how that actually works like in detail like do well, they the do more something? they own of the crypto the cheaper it is for them to pay you in it instead of dollars <laughs> and then it's like here here's some made up money let me pay you in that <laughs> i'll pay you in high Yay! fives next time i see you i'll give you a high five and that's how i'll pay high you. five et uh nft <laughs> here you go this is gonna double this is gonna 10x you want this <laughs> nice <laughs> the coolest nft rob high mm -hmm. five nft baby <laughs> Yeah, ninety nine percent of crypto is a scam. But <coughs> like the stuff that's good is that it's gonna replace banks, <coughs> and uh, then just make it cheaper for us and cut out all these shitty middlemen that want to cut for doing nothing but passing something along. Oh, did crypto it? will just take it, you know, and take it out of the hands of these central fuckers who <laughs> it's less yeah. chance for corruption. It's just safer. But that's also the thing with Twitter. It's like we it's we don't have any trustworthy companies that's the problem and if, yeah. and if we want to be able to talk in public it's like it would be nice to have something that meant more like did you ever read ender's game i saw the movie it was cool i didn't read it okay the but game yeah. i mean the mo the book is uh it's easy read it's not that long it's it was really good interesting and uh, I loved the it. thing i don't think it was in the movie yeah. at all because they had to cut so much stuff but there's a subplot where um, Ender goes up on the station, and meanwhile, his brother and his sister are both also geniuses, hmm. and they come up with this plan that they want to end up like kind of running the world government. Nick? And how they do it is that there is a there is these internet forums, <coughs> and um, to use them, you have to be a citizen and you have to be an adult, and hmm. everyone has one account, and it's given to you by the government. 
and there you're allowed to talk and spread your ideas and they uh, use their parents and they uh, account and they change it and they make up these fake names and then they start posting and the two of them end up becoming the two most popular you know yeah. citizens in the whole world Interesting. and they create these two camps of philosophies <laughs> and in the end the brother at like he's always like he kind of like was an asshole who tortured the other two people when they were young mm -hmm. and the sister was like the nice one who was always trying to make peace and in the yeah. end she made a deal she w was worried about it but she ended up like like good like telling all her followers to just follow him and uh, mm -hmm. you know and he became the emperor of earth and I see. you know led the whole government Interesting. and I think uh, there might have uh, been something where that was helpful with the buggers, uh, with that alien invasion hmm. that was going on. Yeah, it was really cool. With so special basically, too. so basically, it's that's it, like Twitter should be something like that, where um, it it matters and it's like becomes this important asset your account, where you know you can only have one and it's hmm. your real identity, and um, you know. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah. it doesn't show your address or anything like mm. that, but there's accountability and uh, people and you know there's no bots and spam and you're able to have a real like war of ideas where the best ideas win. Yeah, um, I like it. You know, Did you see what happened to Gab? I think it was uh, where they pulled. I think it was either Gab or it was the other one, uh, the one that was competing with uh, Twitter and allowing more free speech. Amazon was the host of the uh, servers, and then they just took the servers down and then the company was just destroyed because there was nobody else willing to host them fast enough or big enough and then it was a picking up steam and the company was doing very well but then there wasn't enough censorship and so Amazon's like all right you're gone and so no I could, uh, these startups I no yeah I don't know about it I don't know yeah. if maybe I the only thing I heard about it was that there weren't a lot of users on it, so I don't know if they sabotage it because of that. Or it was getting better. Uh, it wasn't worth well, it to them. Their excuse like that they the used story. was like uh, alt-right people networking or something like that. And then, I mean, you see that. I, I mean, they have ISIS accounts on hey Twitter guys, right now. Want to come to my white power meeting uh, <laughs> next Tuesday? <laughs> Well, yeah, man. Think I'll about... bring the sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> can you get your wife to make the masks? I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> my wife fucked them up, and they all shrunk in the laundry. And no mayonnaise on the like, sandwiches yeah. this time, ass. <laughs> no fucking chocolate. <laughs> Don't you know what this is? Yeah. But, no, extra uh, mayo. Extra mayo. But the, you know how crazy Twitter is? Like, last I heard, there were still, like, ISIS accounts on there, and that's allowed, but Donald Trump's not allowed. You got terrorists or open terrorists. You got, like, the president of Iran. I'll show you which one's is on, President of Iran is allowed, but Trump can't even speak, the former president. <laughs> oh, crazy. Yeah. I mean, hey, when that that shitty, I guess. Known terrorist. It's just because he was a threat to the... Uh, the political uh, structure and the liberals who run the tech companies that don't want that kind of a threat. <laughs> Twitter is an American company, you know. They're not an Iranian company, so obviously they care more about what's going on in America. Yeah. They care about Iran and ISIS and shit. Yeah. And ISIS, I'm sure that by now there's got to be like, you know, I don't know. I never tried to look up the ISIS. Account. I never did, but I always hear people complaining about it because Trump is well, no, not allowed to speak. At it. <laughs> I go, don't fucking look at it. You're gonna yeah, gonna that's what I say about everything, unless it's illegal, <laughs> and then yeah. then it could be well, taken down. But. But I know. See, but that's a tricky like slope, right? So it's because you got too many dumb people, and then they <coughs> look at that stuff and they're like, "Yeah, sweet, I'm gonna join the jihad and chop heads <laughs> off too." Yeah, I get to chop off heads. Fuck yeah, let me go over there. And I'm gonna get all these virgins yeah. when I kill myself. <laughs> 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 That's great because I haven't been fucked in forever. So if I wanna, this is the only way I'm going to get laid. Remember, remember the uh, Robin Williams joke? He's like, it was a mistranslation. It was uh, I forget the exact number. We go like, ninety nine golden raisins. No, he was saying instead of virgins, he said Virginians, meaning like these like old constitutionalists who are just going to be like beating the crap out of them as soon as they that get. That was to another one. So called. He also heaven. said the golden raisins. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, live on Broadway, Robin Williams, very underrated stand-up. Good stuff. Yeah.
and he sweated enough to fill like five <laughs> buckets during the course of that thing. <laughs> it was he great. Really, he worked hard. <laughs> we, we used to die laughing at that. And Andrew Dice oh, yeah. Clay and George Carlin is amazing. And yeah, Robert, that one live on Broadway. I'm pretty sure one time I watched it as one of those moments where I was in pain because I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah, you know, where <laughs> it's great. It so where you're laughing so much. Two thousand. You know, this is great, but yeah, but your face hurts and like my ribs hurt. I'm like, <laughs> I'm in so much pain right now. This fucking hurts. That's what happened one time. <laughs> funny. Me, my uncle, and like a bunch of people we were watching the Andrew Dice Clay one, and it was just so ruthless and crazy, and we all had some shots in us, and like. It was like we just yeah. could not stop laughing. Tears rolling down our faces. Like <laughs> those are some of the best times in life where you just uncontrollable laughter. So yeah, yeah. Speaking of that, I got the comedy project coming up. I'm getting the logo made now, and uh, I just interacted with the guy right before this uh, podcast started. And so yeah, he's making custom art, and it's full steam ahead. I'm going to use that logo and help re recruit Chicago-based uh, actors and maybe some, you know, camera, one camera guy or something just to help out if, since I'll be acting in it too, so can't be watching everything, so. If you wanted to get into acting, why don't you just try, because uh, this other guy even said that <coughs> Chicago is well known for this type of stuff. Why don't you just try joining some of these improv things? You got the Second City and all that. Yeah, I, I don't really to want to do live improv on stage. That's not my thing. I've, well, they don't start you with that. I mean, you start with like a class or something. Oh no, I know. Like I've looked into it in, in detail. They have like a full course, like curriculum and everything. And I mean, I'm. I went to that one class, and he said that I'm a natural anyway. And I know the exact thing that I'm trying to pull off for this show. So. It'll work out real well, and uh, I'm not trying to like just go into other people's shows and stuff. I don't really like the high pressure like of like stand up and uh, acting yeah. on the spot, and I feel like I'll it's mess up because I, I get yeah, nervous. It's good to try stuff, yeah, it's good to try stuff, and uh, yeah, you know, I, and that can work out. But my brain care, freezes don't, don't sometimes. Put much, don't put too much like. Uh, you know, you want you want to start small. You don't want to put a lot of money into something at the beginning. I already have half the gear. All I need is like a couple more microphones, a couple lights, and a new camera and a new tripod. It's no, not a big deal. Yeah, yeah it's no big deal. No matter what, you can even. Yeah, I have half of it. Value to some extent too. Yeah, because so. I know because I've been selling shit on Craigslist, and you run <laughs> into the weirdest fucking people. <laughs> but I, I was telling you this earlier, but I want to say this again. All right, let's hear. These people on Craigslist are. Uh, I don't know if it's just Arizona, or it's Craigslist, <laughs> or it's the shit I'm into. If it's the shit I'm into, I don't think so, but it's a little scary. But I think it's Arizona has a lot of dumb motherfuckers, one. Uh, I blame what, what are know, some our specifics? education system. What specifics happened to you? Our education system was last. You got to tell us some specifics about the insanity. Yeah, I mean, well, everyone's got to lowball the fuck out of you, first of all. It's yeah. Like, you know, let me hit uh, half the price or whatever. And then uh, <laughs> when you tell them to go fuck themselves, uh, you know, I want to tell them to fuck themselves. I want to tell them to go fuck themselves. Affirm no. But then, uh, half or double it yeah, or whatever. Yeah, well, uh, well, one dude, I ignored him for a day, and then I got back to him, and he got all pissed off. It's like dating. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like dating. Like, his feelings are hurt. Yeah. And he's like, he wrote these long fucking paragraphs and shit. He's trying to, like, do all these personal attacks and like you know uh, give me your you know, address <laughs> yeah yeah and he's like oh, man you're you're uh, you must be butthurt uh, bringing this up and i'm like i don't know man you seem like the one who's butthurt you got, like, <laughs> 10 paragraphs here you're doing like personal attacks against me uh you're trying to say how badly this will go for me and everything. Uh, <laughs> you know. I had to deal with them after I made my I first said, like, video. What you th what, what, you know, I said, uh, your problem is uh, I, you're angry because you got ignored and you think like you're important or something. So you know, <laughs> people should pay attention to you. That's funny. Sorry, that's probably not the case. I, I had uh, uh, I had one guy. to say at the end, he was like, uh, oh, I'm going to block you now. And I'm going to keep the eye out on the obituaries in your town for a suicide when you <laughs> kill yourself. And I'm like, uh -huh. I'm like, okay, nice try, coward. Bye. My, get, get this. That was similar to my first uh, hater who, like, uh, hated my, my first video that I made, the Nature of Reality one. And uh, it was like the most over the top, oh, just yeah. like hate, hate message ever. It was, it cracked me up because yeah. it, he, he was just like, uh, 
go die. You just said, them. go die. <laughs> uh, a belief, a belief in uh, with, in simulation theory is just as pathetic as go a die. belief in God. Go die, you piece of. He says like that. <laughs> what? Those two aren't the same fucking thing at all. I know. Holy <laughs> shit! People have no idea. He really missed the point. Didn't exactly. He? he didn't even. It's, oh, so many people didn't even watch the video. They see the first two seconds, and they're calling yeah. me a college dropout and a druggie. Yeah. And one guy was offering me free DMT. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess I came across oh, the video, but I'm, I'm a college graduate, and I've never even had DMT, <laughs> so. But you want to have some. Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving it a try, explore my horizons. <laughs> Joe but, Rogan's done it dozens of times, and yeah. he only thinks that vaccines are bullshit, so it's not that <laughs> But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were some funny ones, but I, for the most part, I got way more love than hate, and the, the haters, you could tell by their comments, they didn't even watch the video whatsoever, like... It's a pretty yeah, long video. You can video. actually see, like, people's, I don't know if this shows, it doesn't show username watch time, but it shows, like, <clears throat> average watch time and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, I guess it depends, though, because I watch. had a, even but more. It's obvious from what they say. Yeah. And the negative shit sticks with you, though, right? Because that's the human brain is trained yeah. because negative things are the threat. Yeah. If someone's a, a prick to you, he might try to bash your head with a rock, so you got to pay more attention to him, right? Yeah, they, they also said that about memories in general, trauma from earlier in your life. It has this gradual slope that goes down very, very, very slowly. But the good times, the, the good Almost times. Almost get pop right back up in your neurons. Like, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> well, no, the good times, like, say this is like the scale of, um, like, memory where you, it happens here, and then it fades real fast, and then it takes uh, a while for you to the get the memory brain. back. Yeah. Fuck you, brain. And so that's why you got all these miserable people on the streets with all their miserable faces. Like, when I used to take the, the bus mm. uh, in the... Uh, you get some unlucky bad... with a certain amount of uh, shitty shit early. You can never yeah. forget it. Yeah. People who don't get enough shitty shit early, maybe they are uh, able to balance out. The one time... They get to a, a breakaway point where they're not like, oh, there's more good than shitty. <laughs> it's like if you have people who have a lot of shit to happen early, they're like, oh, fuck, it's all shitty. Fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck, shitty, shitty, shit. It just keeps well, building. Uh, I'll never forget, uh, in my senior year of high school, I moved far away from my high school, so I had to take a bus ride like multiple buses and it would take like almost an hour and a half to get to Dude, school one I way fucking three states away in the middle of high school yeah but no, i'm saying like i would I get on the same bus shit. and i would see the same faces of like all of these elderly people and like they, everybody's just so beat down and worn down and you could tell when people aren't living in the moment because they've just got this like dazed look in their eyes and they're living completely in their heads and like I just remember seeing it over and over again, just thinking, "What the hell is going yeah, on?" Yeah, but world? then again, public transportation is kind of like that, right? I yeah. Mean, it's like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna talk to all these people? You're there every fucking day. You know, you're gonna <laughs> like look for people and have interesting conversations with people all the time. I try to, but then like people are so miserable that you're look you're the weirdo if you try to cheer somebody up and then you're the weirdo and so i just put my uh <laughs> like the guy in fucking joker like the joker yeah. movie yeah <laughs> right that's exactly what happened he's on the fucking bus oh yeah like with the, the kid, kid the peekaboo he's trying to make the kid happy <laughs> and the woman's like what the fuck you doing to my kid yeah <laughs> like yeah that fucking talking while talking to my kid <laughs> yeah I met some cool people here and there. In the face. I met some. <laughs> oh, did he? I forget if he did that. At no. the end of the movie, he did. Oh, but... I forgot that that part. But uh, yeah, like I met some I cool people on the bus. The negative. That must have been a happy memory for you, so it faded right. No, away. I just didn't realize it was the same girl from the bus. If, if that. No, didn't it's happen. not the same girl. Oh, okay. Well, I know. The, I know the rest. To that. Okay. To that. I got you. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, don't say no more. <laughs> but try not to spoil. But. Yeah, like on the bus, I have met like. You're some so afraid people. of spoilers. It's because so people will turn this podcast them. off if we're being like, you know, like just telling them all this crap they don't want to hear. It's like, all right, I'm out, and you just bail. So good. <laughs> Later, we don't need you. <laughs> well, there's just no benefit to us, no benefit to them. It's just pure destruction from spoilers. Ah, oh, it's benefit <laughs> to me. I'm enjoying talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Yeah, but on the bus, I've met some cool people here and there, and uh, it's rare. Like even the people I knew, like like first thing in the morning, everybody's tired, and we'd all be getting on the bus going to school, and, and like I, I gave up on trying to like cheer these people up or have interesting conversations because half the time they're just mm -hmm. everybody's in zombie mode, not even wanting to go to school and yeah, not wanting to do shit. It depends on yeah. I mean, if you're in a bus <clears throat> on like 
in like Norway, you know, and you're going to school, maybe everyone's more happy. Like <laughs> that, they got a better society up there and everyone has more money and like the social services yeah. and stuff. So it's just that you're in the wrong country for public transportation, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be a Norwegian, and then you'll be perfect on the bus. Yeah, do you see the happiest countries on earth? They rank them year after year, and the northern uh, European countries over there are all the happiest. I think number one was Sweden, I think it might have been, or Denmark it might have been. It was one of those. And then uh, Norway's like top four or whatever. Like All those yeah, countries are the happiest yeah, places. Yeah, they all are. But yeah, you yeah. got like cold weather. There's a difference. Low uh -huh. crime, but I'm surprised with all that cold weather, they'd be happy because there's like no sense oh, of good. community. Li a lot of people like cold weather. I don't. I don't like cold <coughs> weather. I know everyone bitches about it, but I don't mind it. But I mean, go to like Venice Beach and areas like that. You got this sense of community. Everybody's chatting and uh, outside. Like in in my area, it's like cold, and nobody wants to even sit on a bench for two seconds to meet a stranger. It's like zero uh, unless you're at a bar. The summer, like, that's nice in the summer. Yeah, around here we got the lakes not, and stuff. It's not yeah. year round, but you know there is a period of time where it happens. Yeah, I mean, there's no even those northern uh, countries like they're not like a tundra like year round. Oh yeah, don't they like have the North Pole? Isn't it like dark for like a very long time? Like in certain parts of the year, like uh, the further north you that's go. Or, yeah. or it's like daytime forever, like, <laughs> you know. Well, yeah, because uh, if you're towards the middle of the Earth and the yeah. Earth's tilted and the Earth rotates and, you know, if yeah. you rotate away from the sun, then you're not going to see it. But if you're at the very top and the whole top is pointing towards the fucking sun as it rotates, the sun's not going anywhere. It's just going <laughs> in a big circle over your head. You know what's interesting? They get out of nightclubs at 4 in the morning and then they get out of the nightclub and it's like pure sunshine outside imagine that weird feeling yeah i've i've had that feeling a few times because hmm. you fucking stay in there all night and come on the morning <laughs> you're like fuck <laughs> yeah like, shit. but even at 7 p.m is daytime that's weird <clears throat> yeah any other interesting yeah, tesla like things to talk about before we wrap this up well, it's getting kind of late tesla things yeah. Trying to think if there's think anything new, innovative. Like, never ends. like <laughs> yeah, there's like 50 million innovative things. Let's think about like, let's even, jump into space I just got exploration on more. 4680. Like you know, I want to see how those cars handle. Like I'm been fucking checking YouTube, and none of those assholes that got the Model Y on opening night have posted a video review. What the hell? Hmm. Bunch of assholes. They were able to test know drive. The fucking thing drives. No, that people got it. People they gave deliveries. The, the oh yeah, deliveries went at the out. very end. It. Yeah, those were their yeah. first deliveries, right? Yeah. So their customers, they got them. They're their mm. cars. They can do whatever they want. I want to see some videos because were those the, the, I think those cars are going to handle way better. Because which car was it called again? It's Ooh. the Model Y. They only make four cars. Okay. Yeah. Well, was this the first time they've released a Model Y to a customer? That wasn't like this a test drive. I'm saying that the Model Y out of here is built different from all the Model Ys before. So I, I want to see. see I, I think those differences, some people think they're not going to be able to notice. But if you are a car person to any extent, I think you will have to notice because these are huge changes under the hood. You can't see them. They don't <laughs> pop out in your fucking face through the paint. <laughs> I mean, the paint probably does look better. The gap, the panels are put together better because it's literally made out of like they like the the front. It's so cool. This should this stuff should be in a museum. They hmm. did some of the the tour was like kind of a museum tour, and this building it's the size of five pentagons. Hmm. It's the biggest fucking building <laughs> in the awesome. world by square footage. If you put it on its wow. side, it's taller than the tallest building in the world. That's this cool. takes you hours to walk Khalifa. from one side to the other. Yeah, that Burj uh, Khalifa you can building. fit like two billion hamsters inside of it, apparently. Jeez. Because Elon wanted to figure that out. <coughs> and uh, it's fucking huge. It's got 32 foot windows on the second oh, floor. Oh, that's beautiful. We get that sunshine feet. coming in naturally. Yeah. It, that brings good out. energy, you know? It brings good positive energy, too. Yeah, so so this, the, so these things are laid out for the. Oh, God, I wish. Uh, uh, the stuff I wish they it was in a museum. The stuff that they put out should be in an engineering museum. I I would go there like every month because nice. just with a big fucking smile on my face with how cool the shit mm -hmm. is. Because they show like what they had before was like seventy two fucking parts, and instead <laughs> of that, they're able to make this gigantic casting machine 
and just have it be one part and it's perfect every time cool. and it comes out faster higher quality cheaper it's a win <coughs> for the customer it's a win for them and you know if it was some other company mm -hmm. and some guy brought it up they'd be like no we don't <laughs> do it that fucking way we can't figure it out but they actually do this stuff and they figure it out yeah and so they've got one piece for the front one piece for the back they got the new batteries and the battery as well is part of the structure now so they put in a thing yeah, cool. in the batteries where it's like becomes like cement and then instead of having a casing and then having an extra piece of metal on top the actual case of the battery is the floor of the car it just directly goes to the floor and they can bolt the seats directly on top of it so usually <laughs> when the robots come in you gotta have these awkward ass robots that hold the seats and they come up like uh, like through the doors and they're like and they're like they have to come on this weird angle instead the, the the seats get bolted right on top of the battery pack and it goes straight up That's into cool. the fucking car it's a way better like operation and it's going to have as a result as a much tighter it's going to have a tighter feel it's going to have a lower center Sounds of gravity cool. and it's going to fucking not big on grip, cars. <laughs> grip the corners like none other when you go to make a tight Sounds turn fun. Like that thing, oh, it's going to be a fucking blast. I was going to ask. I mean, they're already fun to drive, but there, uh, that new one is going to be fucking amazing. Is there any plans for uh, Elon and SpaceX to go to the moon? Or are they just going straight yeah. for Mars? No, yeah, they're going to the moon, too. They got a contract from yeah. NASA. Cool. Oh, yeah, I heard that they were going back to the moon, but I thought it was uh, just NASA doing it and not SpaceX. NASA but... picked SpaceX to do it. Oh, okay, so I, that's how they're doing it. That's great. Very cool. I mean, technically, then. that's what NASA always did. So, like, <coughs> they were in charge, but you know, they had like back in the seventies, yeah, you know, Boeing subcontractors. And, like, Raytheon and stuff. would like build the rocket. You know, I see. But now SpaceX does a better job than those people by like a hundred mm. fucking times. So what's their plan? <laughs> like, on... the, the cost was like a yeah. hundred times cheaper. Yeah, reusable rockets. They were what's... just reaming the American taxpayer, just bending them over and butt fucking. <laughs> what's the plan though, once they're on the moon to get back off? They're just gonna have like a separate rocket that's not been used yet on there or they're gonna use that's like- the beauty of it. That's yeah. the beauty of it is the whole thing is gonna take off and mm -hmm. the whole thing is going to land on the moon, and the whole thing is going to take off again. None of this lunar lander bullshit. Oh, cool. The entire it's, it's starship. So it's, they're going to use half the it's, fuel? It's bigger. Maybe on the way there, they'll use half, and then maybe use half of it on the way back or a quarter. Because once you get going through space after that initial thrust, and there's less gravity on the moon, so maybe it would yeah. only take a quarter there, of there their is fuel. A booster, there is a booster that helps because uh, you need so much fuel to get away from Earth's gravity because it's so strong. Yeah. So there is a booster that's going to be used up getting out of Earth's atmosphere. So yeah, you use and less. As far as back. I know, yeah, and as far as I know, then they're going to have enough fuel on board this gigantic fucking ship called Starship. I love uh, it. Is, should have enough fuel to make it to the moon land on the moon take off from the moon and come back and land and land actually the whole thing not some janky little pod with cool. a parachute that lands in the ocean the whole thing is going to land on a landing how many pad, crew members you know and you're going to walk right out of it i don't know how many crew members yeah i wonder how much uh, you're going to go I don't with know the exact details yet but um, yeah I wonder but how, that whole thing is going to like is yeah. what makes mars possible are they trying it for this year or next year you know uh, I don't know the time. Yeah, I wonder. I, I've only heard going to be a little bit. Yeah, because I haven't heard the specifics yet. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And then, man, yeah, it'd be cool it, to see people on the moon again. I mean, that'd be cool if thought. he brings a, a Tesla bot. If he does it next year and brings a Tesla bot, first machine to walk onto the moon, <laughs> that would be a cool accomplishment. Maybe. If it's like two or three years, if you know, if it was actually wasn't a stunt and like it was helpful, you know. What yeah. if it was like a, a helpful part of the crew and it actually were like, oh my God, this makes it so much better. Yeah. And that, that <laughs> what? What a fucking crazy showcase is game over. Yeah. If the robot is useful <laughs> during the fucking flight to the moon and it like, you know, walks out of the fucking <clears throat> thing, doesn't need a space suit. He does a dance walks, like they around. do the dance on stage. That's oh, yeah. that fake guy. <laughs> It he starts dancing like around on the moon. It grabs the American uh, flag that's been there, and he like reaffirms it into the soil. <laughs> this fucking pole dance, like swinging around the flag. <laughs> <laughs> the like stripper a stripper. Moves. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like a fucking girl robot. 
<laughs> one small step for humans, one large step for stripper robots, and, <laughs> or some kind of cool like that. Titter for mankind. <laughs> Titter. Oh man, yeah, it's gonna be fun seeing the future. I still can't believe it's gonna be so much more change in the next ten years than we've seen in like the last thirty years before that in our lives. Like, yeah, it's this cool idea of like it's gonna um, be crazy exponential dude. growth of technology where as yeah. time goes on, it just changes faster and faster. I've heard it slowed down because of the limitations of the microchips, but hopefully we could harness the quantum computing and make it more stable. I was just listening to old Michio Kaku interviews uh, the past couple days. That's a of days. crazy thing, though, but people said it, it was supposed to, but it still hasn't, even though we are running up the theoretical limit of uh, microchip size. Moore's Law is what you're talking about. and it's It has slowed down, I thought. I've, I've heard that it was slowing down a bit. Well, <clears throat> like computers aren't going out of date as fast as they were years ago, is what I'm saying. Like, think about how fast computers were going out of date for a while. You had to get another one, like, every six years and mandatory. Now, like, this laptop I have right now that I'm recording this on, I got this probably, like, four years ago already, and it's going strong. I still got an i7 in there. I, that was when i7s first came out for the processors. And, I mean, it depends what you want to do. I mean, yeah, yeah. laptop, and, but if you want to have the, like, newest, best gaming PC and, like, run every newest title on the max ultra settings, then you still got a new graphics card comes out every two years, yeah. or a year and a half, and you still got new processors coming out, you know, every year, year and a half, so... If you want to be on the edge of that and, you know, sell your mm -hmm. old shit, buy the new shit, you know, you can still do that. And uh, the performance is there. It's just um, it's that, that enough things got good enough where it's, uh, you know, only the most demanding uh, ta tasks will require the most, you know, the newest stuff. But, yeah, I mean, I have this laptop uh, I got when the new Ryzen's came out. It's... Uh, Super power efficient. It's got a you know, like a forty five hundred U in it, I think, and um, it's like stain. It's a steel body, and nice. I got it uh, a couple three years ago, and yeah, mm -hmm. it's perfect. Like a, there's no no reason to upgrade. I it's got a it came with an NVMe SSD. Cool. I just opened it up and I doubled the RAM because I just wanted more RAM, and Good stuff. I didn't have to do anything else to it really. It's uh, and now uh, that was a good deal. It's like four hundred dollars. Uh, this like, I don't know. It's ever since COVID, it's been more expensive. So it's oh, yeah. like more expensive now. I got it at a really good time. I got lucky with my computer too. Like it. Oh my god, my computer would have been twice the amount of money mainly because that video card price. Because yeah, it was a shortage. Remember, you oh, got in that sweet spot where I got uh, it super it's lucky. Like the the video cards were just starting to uh, be in like big shortage. <clears throat> But some of those, um, the builders, uh, they, they still had it. And since you were buying it uh, like a pre-made from a company, yeah, and, uh, they they sold that along with it. And I remember, yeah, you were looking and uh, you were like, oh, you know, I'm thinking about just buying this something. <laughs> I was trying to convince you to build your own fucking computer. I was like, come on, man. That's <laughs> I don't the cool thing is building that. your own computer. Yeah, and you're like, nah, I don't want to do it. I'm not a huge it's fan of that Last time my dad did it, he can't do it this my time. My brother so did I it. I don't want to do it. Yeah, I don't want to deal yeah. with all that. That's countless hours and and so it, it worked out. And nice. then you understand how it works, and I, then it's cool. I mean, I've seen him do it. it I, I understand it to a degree. It's like, and then you I can use enough. it better because you understand how it works. <laughs> But, and then uh, you could make little changes are no big deal. Like if you want to change like a hard drive or something, I think you don't the have video to card alone, the shop like you did. On my computer last I uh, checked, the video card alone was going for like eight hundred dollars more than what I paid for it. Yeah, <laughs> it was ridiculous. they've come down the last couple of months, but yeah, you That's got a good. thirty, you got a thirty seventy. Because I remember you were looking at something, and I, I was looking at some. Uh, I, I was just uh, looking at those prices, and I was like, well, if you're gonna do that buy this and i linked to some like slick deals uh, link yeah yeah you like, i did it you were yeah. like oh that does look good i am gonna get that <laughs> that day you ordered that fucking thing yeah. and i was like i was like oh shit that is a pretty good fucking deal actually i would have been better good just buying that and just selling the video card out of it and the rest <laughs> of it would have been free i should have done that I was yeah that would have been it. smart Not, well, we didn't know how much higher the prices were going to go though yeah. like if we knew they were well, going to skyrocket already, they, no no i knew they already would climbed up a, a good amount but they did go up even more afterwards yeah but, you never uh, know where that's and on top is. of that i was i was like going through that build for you 
Yeah. And uh, that company does a decent job. And that case you got, I also really like that case. The top uh, five, yeah. Yeah, I was looking at the uh, highest airflow cases. and it's great. Uh, I saw that that was an option. I was like, dude, you've got to change it to that case. That's like one of the top cases. Yeah, it, it, it did. I'm happy I did. And uh, now that case is good forever, basically. It, it's got that uh, magnetic side uh, as well. Where you, It's got this one yeah, flap. Yeah, way easier open to open up. and close it. Yeah, and, it's uh, like super easy. And I've got that on my newest computer now. i got a Fantex P500A, <laughs> and it's my mm. favorite. Com it's the best computer build I've ever had. It's like, nice. This is I finally got it to the point where everything I like about it, it's more convenient. It's the best airflow case I've ever had, so it keeps everything nice and cool. It's a really good setup. It's got a good amount of room around all the right components and the right spaces. And it's also, yeah, that old where you have to undo the thing with the thumb screw, that sucks. Oh, that's like, annoying. Man, what a pain in the ass. Yeah. This one literally has a door hinge and some magnets. Same what I, same what I got, yeah. yeah. What do you gotta, what, they should, should have done this the whole fucking time. So <laughs> when I wanna do something, I just could close it and close it with the freaking magnet. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, so much good times. Yeah, I better get going. I'm getting kind of tired. It's already 1:45 in the morning here, so all right, dude. It was yeah, a good one. This was yeah. a funny, uh, funny uh, twist with all the profanity and stuff. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you guys <laughs> find it cathartic as a cathartic as I did. Yeah, it was a funny uh, one. So yeah. Uh, yeah, this was a more of a Tesla focused one. So yeah, I don't We're know what to name about it a lot yet. Of different shit. Yeah. Well, I yeah, try to we'll keep it more it to, to Tesla because that big thing just happened, and uh, so I didn't even get into half of the shit I want to talk about. <laughs> that. Uh, there's way more I could I, talk about. I want to get into like doing a deep dive into space exploration more, and like looking at the different what was it the moon uh, Titan? The name uh, I forget was it uh, Saturn's moon is Titan? Uh, yeah, yeah, where they so. have it's like an icy world. We should get into that one. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, or, yeah, or was it? All right, yeah, I'm getting too tired to think right now. <laughs> so, yeah. all right, guys, well, it's been fun. Soon, yeah. All right, yeah, hit up, uh, hit the subscribe, hit the like button if you guys want to see more of this. And uh, all right, have a good night. Later, Marco. Hey, Later, everybody. Yeah, and if uh, you want to see this on, uh, if you see it on uh, Brian's channel, uh, feel free to also check out my channel, Musings by Marco. And if you see it on my channel, check it out on uh, Dead Man Dreams channel. Yeah, all sounds right. good. I'll be putting the good links night. to yours, and you do it vice versa. So, all, all right, right good night, everybody.